Hey guys, this is Roy from New Tech City back again with another video and today I'm going to show you how to install Android Oreo using factory image. One of my viewers asked me to make a video on it. So with that being said, let's get started. Hello from above. Before moving further, you need to download two things first. The first link in the description will take you to the factory image page. Select your device and download the file. And secondly, download the Nexus root toolkit and don't worry, it also works with Pixel devices without any issues. All the data of your device will be erased, so better to back it up. So now let's start. First, switch over to your device and go to settings, then developer options and then switch on OEM unlocking and USB debugging. After doing that, connect your device to your computer and then open Nexus Root Toolkit. After opening it, click on Unlock Bootloader. It will show a warning, click Yes. Your device will be rebooted into bootloader mode and ask whether you wanna unlock bootloader Press the power button. After the device reboots, again switch on the USB debugging and connect your device to your PC. Then on Nexus Root Toolkit, click on Install Stock and Unroot. And after that, select the Shown Options and click on OK. After that, select the downloaded factory image file. It will then ask for the hash checksum number. To verify the file, go to the same download page from where you downloaded the factory image. Copy the number besides your build and paste it here. After that, it will take some time to verify the file. It will then ask you, are you sure to install it? Then press OK to execute the script. As the process starts, your device will be rebooted several times, so be patient. After the full installation, your device will reboot and now you have Android Oreo running on your device. An important thing is still left that is locking the bootloader again. To do that, connect your device to your computer, switch USB debugging on and click on OEM lock. 
on Nexus Root Toolkit. Your device will again ask whether you want to lock it or not. Then press power button. Now you have Android Oreo running on your device in all its glory. Some of you were asking for the battery issues of the Nexus 6P. I never had a problem like that on my Nexus 6P. Yes, the battery life got worse on Nougat 7.1.2. But now after installing Oreo, I am not facing any issues and getting about 4 hours of screen on time. So guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more content like this one. This is Roy signing off. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.